Okay, and welcome to Dave Mack's uh, little studio here in another dimension, third dimension, so uh, let's hope I can give you some space age type of riffs today. <laughs> okay, we're going to look at Jimi Hendrix, uh, Purple Haze. It's quite a mouthful, I'm going to do this in two parts. I'm going to do the opening riff, and then in the next video I'm going to do the chords and another little bit of a riff. So I'm going to demonstrate for you this section first. So it starts like this. Okay, so that's the opening riff, and then it goes into a lot of chords after that. I'm going to say we'll do it in the next video. So I'm going to just dive straight into the tabs to work on the, the first bit. So you can see here, what we have is, uh, I'll just minimise down to this first. It's the top two strings, the fifth and sixth string, it holds down the sixth fret. So... We're on the 6th fret and we hold down these two strings and you just strum them like that. And then on the on the 3rd and 4th string, the two middle strings, you bar down the 8th fret. So that looks like this with this finger, 3rd finger or your 4th finger, however you want to do it. So I'm plucking the two middle strings on them two. So it goes. It sounds kind of disjointed, but I think that's the whole point. It sounds disjointed and then it resolves into this nice riff. So we got. So you can see that is four times. If I bring this window down, so see that it happens four times. Okay, so we're going to start with the riff. And the hardest bit is this very first bit, where it goes 9, 7, 8. Actually, we'll forget that note. So you can see it starts on the fourth string on the 9, and then the 7th fret, sorry, yeah, for the string it starts on the seventh fret, and then the second string, the eight, so it goes down each string. So nine, seven, eight. And that is a nine, seven, eight. So ninth fret, down to the seventh, then down to the eighth. So instead of my fingers moving side to side, we're gonna start with our third finger here. So it so I can use this first finger for the seven. So watch this. And the second finger for this eight so so one finger to one fret now if you can master that that is that is probably the hardest bit of this riff so just jump in a string at a time oh uh, you don't want to hold them down and think right well i'll, I'll just put them down instantly because you'll go and you'll be playing it like a chord which you don't want to play it like a chord they've got to be individual notes so so you don't want to play someone and do that. You want to go. Okay, and your next note is the seventh fret on the fourth string. So you got. So you can see that there. Da, 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 da. Back to that fourth string there. So. Now on the same string it goes down to a five to a zero pull off, which is. Okay, so when you do that five to zero pull off, you don't wanna lift off. Don't just lift your finger off, it, it makes no noise. You gotta literally be plucking it with this finger. So, so you got, oops. So that's the first 
last bit of it. And then after that, we have this zero on the top string, and then we have a five to seven slide on the fifth string. So that, that extra bit is zero on the top string, then on the fifth string, five to seven. So to do a slide, a five to seven slide, you've got to push down on the five, pick it, and just keep your hand, keep your finger down the whole way. Don't lift off. It's a slide. Like keep it down. Move it to the seven. So zero. So you got. Okay, so you can see that is, if you look at the music, it repeats that twice. So we have that very start bit, that. Uh, and then into the riff. Okay, so. You might want to pause it at this point and just try and memorise what we've done so far because uh, it is a bit of a mouthful. Okay, let's go to the next part of this riff, which is here. All right, let's close in on the this bit. All right, so we're on the fifth string, seventh fret, and then the fourth string, five, seven. So seven, five, seven. So, fifth string, seven, and then five, seven. So third finger there. And then the next bit, it goes a seven, nine slide. So seven, five, seven, and then hit the seven again, and slide to nine. So, and then you go back down to the five on the same string. And then you're on the same note, you go five zero. And then zero three. Zero three, that's on the top string. Okay, so I'll play you that, so. I'll let you see that. Okay. Let's go to the last uh, little bit of this now. Okay, so it's sort of similar. But if you can see, the last note is a seven. So in, instead of going seven, five, seven, seven, nine, slide to a five, it goes to a seven. So that sounds like this. So I'll do that again. And then you've got on the same string, a five, zero pull off. And then you have on the four string seven nine hammer on. So when you do a hammer on, you don't want to go place it on. Don't place it on because it will cut it off. A hammer, you've got to really give it some like execute that note. So really hit it quite hard. Just like you'd hit a hammer with a nail. Well, hit a nail with a hammer, <laughs> the other way around. Yeah, got to give it some force. That won't do it. Okay. And then you've got the next string, the third string. It goes seven and then seven, nine, hammer. So seven and then seven, nine, hammer. Oh. 
So the last little bit, 7-9 hammer. So the whole of that little last section there. 7 there, 5-0. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. Give it a go. Might take a little bit of a while if you're not used to playing riffs. So uh, don't get too frustrated. Just persist with it. Let me know how you get on. Okay, ta.